my name's Meredith Bergen from Australia. I was the president of the Legislative Council of New South Wales. Uh, now I'm a councillor on the city of Sydney. I'm here because, uh, as we all know, the situation uh, is uh, very great for the people of Iran, but it's very important to the rest of the world. Uh, I support uh, Mariam Rajavi and the National Council of Resistance, and that of course means that I support the uh, PMOI and their fight for, um, for freedom in Iran. Uh, the, 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 the fight against the, the, the really most unfair listing, uh, which has them um, uh, listed as a terrorist organisation, is really quite um, distressing. But in actual fact, it's going very well. Every, I have now come to Paris for this um, event five years in a row, and each year I see a, 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 a more important, a more amazing bunch of world leaders standing there and saying uh, that um, the hope for a free, independent and secular Iran is, uh, is the um, PMI and the National Council of Resistance. Right, good afternoon, my name is Phil Glenn Denning. I come from Sydney, Australia. I'm the director of a non-government organisation there, the Edmund Rice Centre, and I also serve on a number of national bodies in that country. Uh, it is a great pleasure and, pleasure and privilege for us to be here today. Um, if there's one thing the world needs, it needs a free and independent Iran. Uh, we have seen for too long, for too many years, too much pain inflicted on the people of Iran through the appalling human rights record of the regime. Uh, today we gather to celebrate democracy and freedom, the democracy and freedom that the, the people of Iran deserve. And we make a united call, all of us gathered from right around the world, and those of us in Australia, we appeal to the governments of the world, and in particular we appeal to the government of Australia, and through them to the government of the United States, to delist the PMOI, to recognise the National Council of Resistance of Iran, uh, and to work for the day when we will be able to say next year, next year let us gather in Tehran, in a free and independent Iran who can take its rightful place among the civilised nations of the earth. Um, there was a, a wonderful Irish poet used to say there will come a day when hope and history rhyme. Well, we see today standing behind Mariam Rajavi as an important message of hope in the expectation that history will record these days as the beginning of the movement to democracy and freedom and peace that the people of Iran deserve. It is their legacy and we call upon the, the peace-loving nations of the earth to stand beside them, to support them and join them in this call for justice and peace for the people of Iran. Thank you. Uh, my name is Brian Medway and I'm part of an Australian delegation to this meeting in Paris. Uh, we love the fact of being here and we come from a nation uh, where there is freedom and justice and where people are treated by and large with dignity. It is a great heartache for us to see the nation of Iran being ripped apart by such a horrible uh, set of circumstances and it is our desire to stand one, one, shoulder to shoulder with you in this long distance way and so we'd love to come here we love to come, we love to stand with your people because we believe that this issue, the issue of the Ashrafis and the issue of the people in Iran who are being mistreated in this way is the whole world's issue. It is for every government of the world and every decent person of the world. It transcends ethnicity, it transcends politics, it transcends any other division because here we come to say we want what people, all people need, personal dignity to be able to relate together in love and peace. And this is our desire for you. And we will continue to struggle until you are free. I have been associated with uh, PMOI, with Ashrafis, for more than 13 years. My experience in Ashraf was probably one of the most moving experiences of my life. I have never met such a courageous, warm, generous, community of people working together, really fighting for other human beings. So they were probably the greatest inspiration for me and my life in this contemporary historical time.